Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1083. Hey, if you want to download this file, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video here, we want to get a total from the amount column given a start and end date. All right, so we can use the sum ifs for this. Now, first, I want to check. This uh, data set's pretty big, and it looks like it's sorted. Control down arrow. I can see it looks like it's ending 12-31-2013. But sometimes you want to explicitly search for the smallest date. So I'm going to use the min. Click in that first cell, Control shift down arrow. I'm going to use shift enter to enter that in the cell and jump the cell up. And then I'm going to use the max to find the max date. Control shift down arrow and then shift enter to put the thing in the cell and jump the cell up. So we know the date range. Now here's our start and end. It's within these, so we're going to have no problem. We can use the sum ifs, because how many criteria are there? One and two. We have to look through every single date and ask the question, are you greater than or equal to the start? and less than or equal to the end. If that's true, then we can use the number from the amount column. All right, sum ifs is a function that's been around from since Excel 2007. Sum range, click in the first cell, Control Shift Down Arrow. Now I want to jump the screen back up, but I don't want to hit the F4 key, so I'm going to use Control Backspace to jump back to the location wherever the active cell is. Because I don't need to lock those. We're not copying this anywhere. All right, comma. The criteria range one, I'm going to have to repeat the date column twice. Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace, comma. And now we have to do our first criteria. And it doesn't matter which one you do first, but I'm going to start with the start. In double quotes, I have to put my comparative operator greater than or equal to. There's no single greater than or equal to. So you, you have to use two characters in that order. The equal sign always comes second. End double quote. Now we need to join that to the cell using the ampersand, Shift 7. And now I click on the Start Date. That whole thing will evaluate. If you highlight it and F9, just to look, it's looking at the serial number. It says greater than or equal to that serial number. Control Z, don't leave that hard coded in there. Now, comma, have to repeat the date range. Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace, comma, and now the second criteria in double quotes, less than or equal to, end double quote, and join it to the end date. And there we go. So then we can format it, Control Shift. You know what? I have my speak cells on Enter turn on. I'm going to turn that off. Control Shift 4 to add currency. The pound signs or railroad tracks or fence are up. So I'm going to point to the column and expand the column. So now if I change this to 115. Oh, I actually have a, a function there. E date. I'm always looking at the start date and jumping ahead exactly four months and then subtracting one. So in essence, I'm trying to get four month uh, chunks. So here, if I change this to 11, boom. So I'm going from 11 15 2011 to 3 14 2012. All right, we'll see you next trick.